And we are back now with Lisa Ellis and Nicole Walker with SC for Ed. Education expected to be a big focus of Governor McMaster's State of the State Address tonight. Pay proposal on the table. The governor is proposing 5%. SC for Ed says it needs to be 10%. Lisa, why? Well, when you look at the cost of inflation, um, cost of living increases that we have are dealing with, you're looking at about two, two and a half percent per year. So even with a 5% raise, you're not making enough to for teachers to make ends meet and teachers are work, telling us they're working two, three and four jobs just to be able to pay bills. And that takes away from their ability to do be a great teacher in the classroom. Nicole, a, a lot of people are paying attention to these issues surrounding education. The strike out in LA certainly caught people's attention. And the question I've been hearing from a lot of people, could that happen here? Well, you know, the thing that we always say, Judy, is it, it is. We've had a teacher walk out for years, and, and our state hasn't been acknowledging it. Um, you know, do we think that there needs to be a strike? We'd like to be the state that gets it right, that solves these issues before there's a strike. That's not fair to our, our kids. That's not fair um, to us as staff members. We need to be in our classrooms. But in order to do that, the legislature has to start. We like to say it's not so much a salary increase. It's, a, it's an adjustment. You know, the EIA in 1984 had a funding formula that we have not used uh, for years, and it's time to do it again. Lisa, we have about 20 seconds left. I anticipate part of the response from the governor's office would be that the 5% raise would put us above the southeastern average. How does SC for Ed respond? Well, the, the numbers that they're using for the South Carolina average is inaccurate because it includes the total salary that teachers receive. So that would include national board stipend, coaching stipends, department head stipends, all stipends that teachers are giving for doing extra work. Okay. So it, it's, in a nutshell, we're working with inaccurate data. All right, well, we'll hear, of course, more from the governor tonight. I'm sure SE for Ed will have a response as well. You can uh, participate in our poll right now on the WIS Facebook page about where you think or what you think our state should do about teacher pay. We'll be back right after this.